Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're just going to do a very simple uscript graph. We're just going to make it say hello world to the console. Now what I've done is I have a brand new empty Unity scene uh, of freshly installed uscript. If you need to know how to install uscript, there's another video for that or you can check our online documentation. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go up to the tools menu, run the uscript editor, and we have a blank graph. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have it when you press the space bar, it just says hello world to the Unity console. Very simple. So in order to do that, first thing we need to do is place an event. Pretty much all logic is started or triggered by an event. In this case, we want to input event. And what this does is anytime any input is fired, be it a mouse, keyboard, joystick, uh, it'll fire off a signal. Now we don't want it to fire off all the time, we just want it to fire off when we hit the space bar in our case. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the actions, events, and we're going to place a filter. And what this does, it'll filter all that raw input of firing when everything triggers, and it'll block it unless it is, in our case, the space bar. So I'll just expose a variable here. And for value, either we can select it from the list, or if you know the name, you can just type it. So there we go. So now we're filtering it. So we're only going to pass through if the space bar is hit. And now all we need to do is place a log node. So I could come here to Actions, do Editor Only, and place it there. Or shortcut I can do is just left click uh, while I'm holding down the L key for log. It's just one of our hotkeys. Uh, Logs are very popular, so we try to make it very fast and easy for you to place them. And we'll just do it on Input Up. So when the space bar button goes up, it'll fire the log. And for the target, which is the text, we'll just say, hello world. Okay, so we have our logic graph. Uh, now what we need to do is save it and kind of have it activate in our scene. So I'm going to hit save. And we'll just call this hello world. Uh, Uscript is now asking us if we'd like to assign it to the master game object in the scene. We actually have a brand new scene. We haven't even created one yet, so there is no master Uscript object yet. So it's asking us that do we want to put this on there. All graphs have to be on a game object in order to run in your scene. For the most part, um, you can really just have one graph on the master game object uh, and make an entire game with it if you wanted. Or you can have multiple graphs if you like, uh, also just on the master game object. Uh, there's also advanced uses where you can have use scripts on other game objects. But for now, we'll just uh, hit yes. It's a very simple scene. As you can see right now, it just says it's red um, because it thinks we don't have a scene loaded because we actually haven't saved the scene yet. So let's fix that really quick. All I need to do is save the scene. I'll just call it main. Now if I come back to use script, and we just save this again, it's going to now have a C name, so now it's all happy, it knows who it belongs to, and it's ready to go. So I quit this again. Let's clear out the console. We'll just hit play. And if I hit the space bar, it'll say hello world. So there you go, that was pretty straightforward. I will see you again.